What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. Out here in the cold weather, out here in the old redneck aluminum boat we built. And today I'm gonna to be doing a variety of different things. Gonna to try to catch some small crappie to eat for a catch and cook. Maybe do a little bit of bass fishing as well if the opportunity presents itself to catch a, some good fish. Today's video is sponsored by this bearskin hoodie that I got. They sent it to the channel, wanted me to review it. Pretty cool hoodie. Has adjustable cuff links on Velcro straps. Tighten it up as much as you need to. Helps out when it's a little cooler and you can really keep the cold air from coming in. It has a total of six pockets just on the inside of the vest. Three that are zippers and three that are just drop-ins. Plenty of room to store extra stuff if you guys or anything like me and carry a lot of stuff on you. But we got zippers on the sleeves, on the chest, and it has a bigger size hood, which really comes in handy when you're wearing like a big toboggan or a hat in the winter time. So bigger size hood and got kind of almost like a little sun protection over the top. So thanks to Bearskin for sponsoring today's video. But without any further ado, I'm gonna quit rambling and we're gonna get out here and catch some fish. The water temperature is, I don't even know, haven't even turned the fish finder on yet, so. Let me go up here, we're gonna turn the graph on, see what the water temperature is, and we're gonna to get to fishing. All right, let's get up here on the front of the boat. Turn this live scope on. I just wanna see what the water temperature is. We're still gonna go ahead a little bit further down lake, but just curious on what the water temperature is. It's been raining for like a week. Also, I come out here the other day and broke my pull handle on my trolling motor, so I bought this brand new one. Attached a little weird on the inside, so hopefully this thing will last us and doesn't snap. The water's 49.86 degrees. Let's go out here and... All right, I just uh, happened to stumble on a decent gathering of crappie over here. There's a lot more fish over here, but can I get them to bite? Because it don't mean nothing this time of day. Boy, it's windy. <laughs> I had a little thump. There we go. There we go. Not a big one, but we have a crappie on the board. These guys have been almost skunking me, boy. It's been rough today. Small, but he'll eat. Sorry for looking a little crazy, but this is what we got. We got the old mock jacked combo. Got a little bitty old crappy jig and uh, gonna try to catch some fish for this catch and cook. Got some Dano seasoning I'm gonna go home and fry up, grill up some bass in the oven. These fish are few and far between, but the wind out here is just killer. So half the problem is once I find the fish, it's actually keeping my boat in a decent location where I can actually even catch them. All right guys, right over here, if I can get on it. Little ball of crappy. Oh, there they are. There's some good ones in that in that ball. Oh yeah. All right, I'm coming right through them now. Coming right through them. He's following it. He's following it. Oh, little booger. I think I'm on top of him. I need to scoot backwards. You gotta like twitch it near him. They don't want it reeling like normal. Oh, he's on it, he's on it. Got him. Yeah. I found a little school of them over here, boys. School of them. All right, well, we're gonna give the crappy a break for just a wee minute, cause uh, what time is it? I gotta be back home, it's 10. Got a couple, a couple of good hours of bass fishing now. And uh, there's crappy hanging out in this cove and they're biting. And normally if crappy are biting, bass are biting. So, we're just gonna cruise around this cove for a little while, see if we can find any action. 
I'm just wondering how close these bass are to the bank. Sometimes they like snugging right on it this time of year. And I'm talking about tight. Let me get up in there and snug the bank. Throw right on it. If any bass wants to be up in there, I'll get him. Come on, girl, come on. I need a bass. There we go. Oh, it was big. It was big. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it was big. I'm talking about six or seven, guys. Six or seven pounder. Oh, my goodness. How did I let that happen? No, 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 no. Come on. We're gonna head to a different spot. Whew. It's been a grind day. And uh, the water's just super muddy. It's been raining for days and days. It basically flooded out here, so time for a Pop-Tart break. Of course I got s'mores. There's no other flavor. So I'm just gonna slowly take us down this bank, fish one pocket over here for bass, run up lake, check the water temperature, and then we're gonna go home and get a little catch and cook for you guys. Gonna clean them, cook them, got some Dano seasoning, and it's actually called seasoning, so. That's Boogie. We'll see you guys when we get over there. I was like, I'm hung on the grass. <laughs> and I was like, nope, that's not the grass. First bass of the trip. All right, we're gonna hit this one little section of bank right here, change up the tactics because uh, I don't know. Like they were here kind of, oh my goodness, at the crappy right there. I may have to turn this boat around and crappy fish. My goodness, that is a ball of them. That's a lot of crappie, dude. I mean, a bunch of them. Well, they're scattering. They must be super tiny if they're that scared of a little bitty bait. Gosh. Golly bum, dude. Guy's a little butt. <laughs> Bait balls are crappie. Bait balls are crappie. Three pointer. Well, we just loaded up the boat. Time to go home and cook some fish. The plan wasn't to really catch a lot of them, but I got four decent sized crappie down here swimming around in the live well, and they're about to be, and they're about to be fish food. I have this Dano seasoning right here. Gonna be cooking them up with. So let's go ahead and drive to the house, get to filleting these fish. See y'all there. Side note, I'm pretty sure I fried one of my lithium battery chargers. I'm knocking. Nobody's coming. My lovely assistant right here is going to help me and uh, open this. So put the fish in this bag. Okay. Let me uh let me uh got one. Good job. Yeah. Put all of them in there. Yeah. Alright, so right here I have my fish station. I have my cutting board. Just this little piece of uh cardboard. cardboard just so it doesn't junk up my truck. So we're gonna go ahead and get the cleaning. Alright, so next thing we're doing, taking the old bag of fish, washing it out here in the water. I just uh, 
thoroughly scrub them and place them in another separate bag. Alrighty, so I actually have a couple different cooking techniques. I already had the bags marinated overnight. And uh, the first way, just a little bit of canola oil, Tabasco sauce, maybe some lemon juice if you guys want that. And the first method we're gonna be doing is baking this. We're gonna be putting this in, in the oven for about for 400 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. And then the other one, I have this little sizzler griddle grill thing my dad got me for Christmas and I'm uh, gonna be firing this thing up. It's a Ninja sizzle grill. So I'm gonna grill half of them and then bake half of them. Here's my little Ninja grill. We're gonna be grilling on this bad boy today. I already have some settings on the side for fish, 375 degrees for 7 to 11 minutes. These are super small crappy fillets, so it's probably going to be around the 7 minute mark, probably. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get to grilling these and then baking the other ones. I put a little Tabasco sauce on the top, get a little spicy because I like spice. So if you've stuck around this far in the video, I appreciate you watching. I've uh, never done a catch and cook on this video. so. I've never done a catch and cook on this entire channel as long as I've had it. So if you guys enjoy catch and cooks, let me know. I'll definitely do more. I, uh, I definitely, my favorite thing to eat is crappy. And uh, secondly to that is spotted bass. If you've never had spotted bass, it's exactly like crappy, but you get a much bigger fillet. And uh, they're an invasive species because they're actually the Alabama strain that are all in my local area. So you don't feel so bad about eating them because you're basically helping the largemouth population by eating them. The oven is preheating to 400 degrees. It's almost there. I got the griddler on 375 right now. I got my hand over it. It's starting to warm up. So uh, I've never used this. So it, it may ding or something when this one heats up and then we'll throw these fish on there. I added a little bit of extra seasoning into the bag. This is uh, some brand new seasoning Dano's come out with. They sent it to me, asked me to try it. And uh, sound, smells, smells pretty solid. I'm, I'm, I'm normally a big blackened, blackened guy. Like I normally get the blackened seasoning and I cover the fish all up. I love blackening. Not a big lemon pepper fan or regular fish seasoning. I like spicy. That's why I got the other batch over here that I'm gonna be baking that I added a few squirts of Tabasco sauce to and I'll eat the mess out of some Tabasco. The oven's at 400. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these things up and stick them in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap this up a little bit gonna add this little aluminum ball in the oven let that cook for eh, 10 minutes it's probably might be overdoing it with as small as those are so i might open that thing up in about five minutes all right so i'm pretty sure the little griddler over here is prepared too so let's go here start cooking these as well all right it seems pretty hot so Ooh, buddy. I need some more seasoning on that one. All right, dude. We're gonna go ahead and take my handy dandy spatula fork and flip it. Ooh, buddy. That look real good. It's already tender, it's already falling in half. Can't even flip this one. Mmm. That look real good. Alright, I do believe these are pretty much ready. I'll get them on this uh oh lord, it's falling apart. That's how you know it's good and done. And I can't even get them on the plate. All right, so the grilled ones over here smell extremely good. It's the plate right there. Mmm, smell delicious. Now the ones that are in the oven, I guess we'll uh, go ahead and take those out too. Woo! That one, I'm just completely guessing that they're done. The aluminum foil is kind of smoking right now, so should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this trash away. And uh, I'll bring a kit or two in here. We'll get a little taste test going, but smell delicious. Alrighty, I'm gonna do my part in testing the old grilled fish over here. I wanna get this piece right here. Mm. 
That's pretty good. I wish I had some white rice. Put it over a bed of rice, but all in all, my goodness, how good. Wow. Mm. Okay, spicy fish. Actually, that's got some pretty good spice to it. All right, the next one we're gonna check on is the aluminum foiled fish, so come up here. Open this up. The spicy, spicy fish. Got some kick, but if you guys like really easy way to cook things, the reason I like the old aluminum foil bacon trick is because you can literally just take a little bit of aluminum foil, put everything in it, bake it, and when you get done, you just throw the aluminum foil away. There's no cleanup, there's no mess, nothing. Like, you just throw it away and you're good to go. No washing dishes. So, pretty good. Overall, I give this fish like a 9 out of 10. But, I'm gonna go get my boys. Get them to taste it. First time eating fish. I want to eat it. I have no idea how this feels. I liked it. It's a little spicy, but. What you think? Dad, I, I try like it. Food. It's really spicy. Remember, you want to try it? Yeah. Spicy? You like it? All right, well, the reviews are in. Even the kids like them. And finding things that eight-year-olds and three-year-olds will eat, pretty difficult. So, Drake was there with me when we cleaned them, we caught them, cooked them up. Pretty good. So, what do you think about fish, Drake? What? It's good. So, I guess that's all for today's video. Let me know how you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, see you guys later. Peace.